so 1s 2s 2p 3s yeah now uh, it has 11 electrons in total so first two will go here now nine electrons are left next two will go over here now seven electrons are left first we will fill these three partially so now we are left with um, four electrons so then we will start filling them up fully now we are left with one electron so this goes over here so you can see that um, 1s, 2s, 2p and 3s are, have the electrons so this is one the electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s1 yeah so th this is how we write the electronic configuration now if you remember if you remember the, the if you remember what we did for neon so there is another way of writing these electronic configurations which i think is a less professional way so i will never so i will never suggest you to write it like this but sometimes they write it like that in the paper so for you to decipher those types of electronic configuration let me just show you how it's done so we remember that neon had an electronic configuration like this it had its electrons filled like this so don't uh, don't do what i just did that i filled uh, that i paired them up together first i will have to, I'll, I'll do it the correct way i mean i know that all of them are full so it doesn't matter but still i have to always do it the correct way first i have to fill all of these then i will start filling these so it's like this now 1s 2s 2p yeah so if you if you if you write the electronic on uh, you should, so i'm giving you time to think about the electronic configuration of neon how we will write it in this way so take pause the video write it like that then we will continue so um, let me do it for you now yeah so we will have to take 1s2 2s2 2p6 so this is how we write the electronic configuration of of neon yeah now if you see neon and sodium till here they have the same electronic configurations because you can see that 1s2 2s2 2p6 are same till there yeah so we can also write the electronic configuration of sodium as we write ne in bracket in square brackets now ne in square brackets represents 1s2 2s2 2p6 and then we can just write 3s1 over here because you can see because you know that 1s2 2s2 2p6 is basically the electronic configuration of neon so rather than writing the whole thing like this we can just write ne square bracket and 3s1 so you cannot do this for any 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 particular element i mean you cannot put any particular element over here you always have to put noble gases over here so then when we are doing magnesium we know that magnesium has 12 electrons so it will have one electron over here so in that case it will it will be it will be ne 3s2 so the ne will not change but the 3s1 will become 3s2 so in square brackets we can only put the noble gases so sometimes they will give you uh, they will give you um, electronic configurations like these so now you know how to decipher an electronic configuration like this yeah so this is exactly how we write electronic configurations let's do some more because practice makes perfect so let's do for calcium and we, let's do for potassium calcium and then after potassium and calcium we will do for something like scandium potassium calcium and then scandium okay so potassium has 19 electrons in total 19 electrons now in this case it will be uh, 1s first let's fill these two so now we are left with 17 electrons then we come to 2s fill these two so then we'll come with then we come down to 15 electrons then when we are down to 15 electrons we'll have to make the 3p shell 
sorry, not 3p, 2p, 2p because 2p has less energy than 3p.